left my humidifier on the floor and yep. Okay, I am up on Christmas Eve Eve and feeling good and going to drop off some cough drops at Granny's because she's got a cough. She needs some drops. Hey stranger, Merry Christmas and stuff. I'm just dropping off some cough drops to Granny. Oh. Like I'm bearing the gift of cough drops for Granny. Oh, you're the best. Do you want to hand deliver them? Sure. Cough drops. Oh, thanks, honey. Oh, you oh. sound awful. I'm going to back right out. Yeah, I feel awful. Merry Christmas Eve Eve. Thanks, Eve. Just leaving work. I am heading out to, I'm probably mispronouncing it, but Sojourner Truth House. Meeting Charlie Burgess there. He's doing some donations that he collected himself. So he must be commended for this. So I'm going to go meet him up there and shoot a little video of him emptying his trailer full of stuff. This is the second trailer that he's done. So, charitable things. Noted. The people of Gary welcome me. Turn left onto West 13th Avenue. Okay, fine. Instead of churches. Looks like the news is getting set up. Arrived. Just got here to this Sojourner Truth House. The news seems to be behind me. Oh, he's on his way here. He had a SWAT call. Okay. Oh, he yeah. had a SWAT call. Oh, my God. <laughs> I know. I was, like, waiting for him. Like, where are you at, dude? And then finally he's like, I'm all the way. I'm, like, 10 minutes out. I had a SWAT call. I was like, all right. that's we wanna, pretty wild. We, we want to put a mic on him. Yeah. Yeah. He's going to help unload, right? Yeah. Okay, great. Oh, yeah. gosh. Well, so I'll, I'll wait to drop it until he gets yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I'm sitting there. Like, I stopped at the police station. I'm like, I'm like, y'all call him. And they call him. And they're like, he's like, I'm on the way. I'm like, thank God. I'm Regina, by the way. I'm Charlie. Nice meeting nice you. This meet is you. my creative partner hey, for today, Nathan. How are you? Good. Yeah, I ha I've had it like the trailer partially full for like a week or two. Yeah. Because I was going to take another load, but they're like, the last load you brought, we still organizing that. Can you hold off? Oh, and I was wow. like, well, that's a good problem to have. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I put on the St. John page. I was like, hey, anybody got clothes donations and stuff? So like the first load I took over was just people from St. John, basically. So it's been kind of... It's like I said, I want to kind of do some good. I, I always try to help out as much as I can, but yeah. I had trailers been sitting empty in my driveway since race season was over, so I'm like, wow. wonder if I could fill it up, and I ended up filling it up almost three times, so I was like, all right. And how do you know the officer? <laughs> um, he's on, we're on, it's um, 209 Dirt Riders. We oh, ride, the Dirt Riders. Yeah, yeah we ride more across the dirt bikes and yeah. stuff, and he was on there, and he'll come out there and ride and stuff, so I just kind of knew him from there, and uh, he knew I did pictures, so I... Police, police and firefighters have like a Thanksgiving Day football game at one of the abandoned schools. They still use the, f the football field. So I came out there and did pictures for them before and stuff. So it was kind of wow. cool. Something different. Where sometimes police, police get a bad rap. We yeah. want to show some good here. Yeah. And that's what this is about, you know? Yeah. Yeah, because it's usually, I, we, I was helping the one guy. He was restoring one of the baseball fields over here. And they put him on the front page. Well, when they put him on the front page, it was also the same day, they had, or like the next day that previous day they had a murder so it was like the murder and then the guy doing good and i was like <laughs> it's like can you guys split yeah, it up right. yeah we were talking and i was trying to see because i think i've seen a lot of your videos that you guys have done and does that one have the, is the roof yeah the roof gone yeah. yeah okay mm -hmm. and so did you take still pictures too or do you just do video i do mainly video i took a couple okay. pictures for him there but i think i've seen your video on that but then i think i've seen some other people that yeah, have taken was, like still pictures inside that was the full article yeah, yeah i have seen that yeah, yeah i haven't seen that picture of you yeah. on the bike but i've seen yeah that was the full they did a full article because we did some videos and stuff. so this is regina she reached out to me after that gary police evidence video yeah 
about oh, doing a story, was, <laughs> right? You guys know each other. I, I guess so. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, but I thought one of them wasn't there, like a body or remains or something like that. Or that was at uh, a school recently. Yeah, they found right. one at uh, Horace Norton Elementary. Yeah. But nothing. We've never come across anything. But all like that, that evidence, though, I would think, why would you leave evidence? It doesn't that make any sense. Cases. That's what I thought. That's what came to my attention. Even was, if it wouldn't help, why leave it there? Why, would, why, why not just clean it, it up before yeah. you abandon the but, building? And it's the same way at Tinley Park. All this. You go to Tinley Park Hospital. All of these oh documents. Case, sorry, all all this stuff is, is still there. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, and, and like you can easily get in there. Mm -hmm. I mean, Just and so there. we went there like two months ago. Yeah. And like people, uh, I guess the the uh, state um, has paintball tournaments there. Okay, that's kind of cool. I mean, yeah, but. Hey, if you ever want to go into a building yeah, with us, right? by all means, hit me up. <laughs> oh yeah, I did. But you, I mean, look through your messages, and I you'll find a message for me. Look through your messages. Yeah. Hey, Santa Burgess, what are you doing here? <laughs> You putting on your outfit? Yeah. With the boots. With the motocross boots, yes. Ridiculous. Literally, it was high school. I was collecting donations. You haven't worn that since high school? <laughs> I haven't worn it since high school. I don't know how the beard's going to fit with the helmet, but I'm going to give it a shot. You're putting the helmet on, too? Yeah. Oh, I, I better ride up on the helmet, dude. <laughs> oh, you're riding up? Yeah. I, where's the bike? In the trailer. Oh, we got to okay. get the stuff out the trailer so I can get the bike to deliver the presents. These are all my mini, mini versions of my bike. You didn't even put 19 on them? I, Come on, Charlie Burgess. I'll be on that one. Charlie was having trouble performing his Slavic duties there in his in his racer boots. I can't believe you're putting the helmet on. Well, I guess you got to ride safe, right? Yeah. Okay, real quick. She told me this is the second time you brought a truckload of stuff. I brought the first truckload. You brought the truckload? Yeah, the first yeah and truckload? then he helped fill up. Okay. Can I say you two are close friends? We ride dirt bikes together. Yeah. Close friends? Mm -hmm. You like them? Or you mean, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you don't. Okay. <laughs> okay, close friends. Okay, yeah. good friends. And you, I mean, you're doing this out of the goodness of your heart. Well, well why though? Get back. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of people around here. I mean, I, I want kids to see the good that I have. I mean, you know, I was fortunate enough to have stuff, items like this around Christmas. And I know it's, it's kids that don't have these type of things, you know come Christmas time and I never I, I, I mean I want it but I didn't want it as bad did you all spend any money out of your pockets also I bought um I bought a bunch I bought I, got, I had my dirt bike in there too to, to deliver the presents to the kids I bought like 25 toy dirt bikes that are like just like mine to give to them too Ooh, I want so it's something no, I'm I'm sure. <laughs> Ooh, I want one okay let me tell Nate real quick let, yeah. let's get going okay hey Nate my family That's still right. lives here I got kids here I'm invested here I bought a home here this place will come back I love it. it just takes time you know what I say? Why can't we get not that Amazon is everything? Why can't Amazon move here? Huh? Why? Why it can't can. Amazon? It's perfect. You got the lake, exactly. railroad. You why got everything right here. Why can't right Amazon, our major Chicago? corporation, come here? Yep. Why not? Somebody's going to buy up that lakefront property, I and mean, it, I mean, yeah. this I mean, you're, perfect you're, right you're, to you're, Chicago, right. and well, yeah. well, like I say, it takes a year, it takes some time. We'll get it back to where it's supposed. Ridiculous. <laughs> Look, slightly. <laughs> oh, she meant the Santa hat. Oh, the Santa hat? Yeah, not the helmet. Alright. Can you do me a favor and do this side first? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's used to me telling him to do stuff like that. Okay, just over here first. <laughs> <laughs> Dirt bike? That's so nice of you. Because I would say one truck, two men are trying to do some good in a community that often gets a bad rap. Can we get both of you guys together alone? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Tell me when. Okay. 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 One truck, two men in a community that often gets a bad rap. I'm rejecting. Three, two.
one truck and two men trying to do good in the community that often gets a bad rap. I'm Regina Walter and Gary, and I'll have more on this story coming up. seen so much b-roll being shot so many different shots uh, I'm gonna be interested to see how the final news piece comes out brought these just for you Mapex the official sponsor of NASCAR okay I can take the stuff over there. Okay. There's not much left to take out of my truck, so I can do that while he's taking the rest out for you. Okay, that would be great. Yeah. All right, because uh, like I said, we have a few crises going on. It's a Monday. Oh, yeah, sorry about that. It's uh, not your fault that crises are going on. I didn't realize how it's, much. It's a Monday. <laughs> I knew how much was in there, but I didn't realize how much was in there. Ah, okay. What are you doing after this? Going back to work. Want to hit up some churches chicken real quick? <laughs> Hell yeah, I do. I'll, I'll just ride over there like this. How do you picture this, Charlie Burgess? What do you want me to do? You can go over there when I ride around. Just wait for you over there. Are the kids over there yet? I don't know. I'm right here. We'll find out. Give me a thumbs up. Okay. Running around. I am starving. That's the reality here. Got the kids out here now. We're all coming out still. what you imagined when it was going to be dirt bike Santa? No. Well, I, I imagined the dirt bike, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, come What was this, how you imagined dirt bike Santa was going to play out? Pretty much. Oh, 
Yeah, yeah, because I don't really have kids, so yeah, yeah. it's kind of cool to make some of the kids' days. Like I said, when I do that Highland Parade, it's like I, I got a bunch of friends to do it this year, so there's about ten of us, and we. I'll usually do wheelies, and then like my cousin will give high fives, and they were stopping and letting the kids rev the bikes and stuff. So the kids just, you know, they love the dirt bike. I got a dirt bike. I'm afraid of heights a little bit, so I don't like the big jumps. I don't like trucks and roads a little bit. Yeah, but I understand right now. Next week, I'm going to let you like this. All right, exactly. Why not, man? Exactly. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Gina, not. Gina, I want you on this side, please. Yes, sir. Both of you can look at me when you talk. I'm going to uh, ask you officers to tell me your first name, your last name, say it and spell it. Ready? You can look at me. Yep, go ahead. My first name is Tommy, T O M M I E. My last name is Tatum, T A T U M. Okay, and you're uh, a uh, Gary Police Officer? I'm a Gary Police Officer. How many years? Eight years. Eight years, and what's your name, sir? Uh, Charles Burgess, C H A R L E S B U R G E S S. All right. Hold on a second. I'm going to just move. Uh, Charles. Now he's going to be Charlie Burgess. I'm going to be Charlie Burgess. You're going to be Charlie Burgess. You go by Charlie or Charles? Both. Both, okay. Yeah. Both <laughs> Charlie. I got Charlie. 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 The music is bothering me because now we can't, I mean, it's hard to do the interview with that thumping. I, you know, it's like it's hard to do. That squad sitting right there, and she's still bumping. That's not enough to get a ticket. That was right there. Was driving around like that. Oh yeah, it's a noise, noise, noise violation. I could probably get a few after. I just didn't know too. how much, how much noise. Okay, here we go. Okay, and then we got the guy. Oh come on. <laughs> so, so Charlie, I gotta ask you. That truck was packed to the brim. Man, that took a lot of work by you two. Yeah, I, um, Tommy did a lot of help collecting the items, and I spent my whole pretty much yesterday trying to load it in there and pack it in there, like. I'm pretty good at Tetris, and I feel like that's kind of how it was, trying to get everything in there. I mean, I pretty much on the way here, I could see out my windshield, my side window, my side mirrors, and that was about it. My back seat was full. But were you surprised that you guys could collect and do that much good? I, I honestly, I made a Facebook post, and I would just ask to help me fill up the trailer, and I honestly filled it up twice, and my truck, so that was more than I could have ever asked for. And, I mean, I, it, was, it still amazes me that we collected that much. That's just, it's awesome. Like, my trailer probably hates me as much stuff is in there. I had to air up my tires more because my tires were going flat and there was so much stuff in there. But You know, it, I like to say that it, it's a truck, a trailer, and two guys trying to do good in a community that sometimes gets a bad rap. What do you say to that? that that's definitely, that's, that's what we're trying to do. Just, you know, not, you know, everybody sees Gary in a bad light and it's really not. There's a, there's a few people that give it that rap, but most people here are good. And, you know, it's, it's nice to help people in need. You know, I grew up in you know, tried tenor area, St. John, Cherville, so I, I, I've been pretty fortunate my whole life, so um, it's just nice to be able to take what I've been given and get back a little bit. Yeah. When you see the look on those kids' faces, the people clapping, happiness to see both of you and doing what you do, what does that make you feel it's, like? it's, it's, really, it's really a good feeling. Um, I mean, I feel like that was kind of my calling because I've never really been good at all. <laughs> I've been good at some stuff. I do photography and stuff, but like as far as riding goes, I'm not the best rider. So, um, but to me, those kids, you know, they think I'm a pro. They think I'm a hero when I pull up like that. It's it's just an awesome feeling, and to make their day too. Um, you know, I don't have any kids, but I hope when I have kids someday, someone does that for them. Um, you know, and if, if I'm ever in need or anybody in my family's in need, I you know, I just hope that someone will do the same. You getting choked up? Yeah, <laughs> it's uh, it's just an awesome feeling helping people out. We love yeah. it. We want to do anything like you said to get to highlight the good going on in Gary, and yeah. we appreciate that. You know, but we don't. We can't find out about the good stories if you guys don't let us know. Mm -hmm. Let mm -hmm. us know, all right? Okay. So the story will be on at five o'clock, and um, I'll I'll be able to send the link if you all Very like much. the link. He'll, I have his number, so I'll send him the link in case you miss it because I know you're going to be at work. Okay, Charlie. All right, thank you. Keep doing good work. Right, I'll send you the link. All right. You. Any all other right. good stories? Let me know. You got my number. All, all right. Thank you so all much. Right. Okay, been kind of crazy running all over the place. Got back to work, finished a form, uh, sent off another version of that Griffith Police video, and now I'm running over to Crown Counseling for the family therapy thing, because of course that's today at 3.30. Doing that, and then I have to head back to work because I was finishing uploading something. Gotta come back, grab my computer. I'm not sure what's going on exactly this evening. I think Michelle's coming by for dinner, but I am not positive what time that will be. 
and I seem to have heartburn from eating chips and salsa, which is weird because I've been eating that for years, so odd. On my way to the grocery store, well, our way, um, going to get something for dinner. Not sure yet, except for the fact that it will involve mashed potatoes and gravy. Other than that, undecided. Gonna go check the deli because I don't feel like cooking. Um, it is much more important to be eating and watching Lost sooner than later. Is that accurate? Uh-huh, that's accurate. Confirmed in the affirmative from Michelle. So I found the bomb pops to match my jacket, but then I saw they have Patriot pops, which seem to match the blue a little bit better. Okay, we ended up getting a little bit more than just dinner. Unless dinner was eighty dollars, which is just, just was trying to figure out what song you were playing, and I couldn't figure it out. But then I realized it was probably YouTube. God, somebody sure made a mess in here washing their hands. I see water everywhere. It's weird how the kids can make such a mess on the counter from washing their hands when they're not even here. No kidding, did I? They did. I'm sorry. One truck and two men trying to do good in a community that often gets a bad rap. I'm Regina Waldrop and Gary, and I'll have more on this story coming up. All right, so two friends from Indiana were determined to give back this holiday. So they held collection drives at work and on social media. Great idea. Today they made a special delivery to a homeless shelter for women and children. Regina Waldrop has more on their giving spirit. With a truck, a trailer, and a mission. In a city that often gets a bad rap. You know, everybody sees Gary in a bad light, and it's really not. There's a, there's a few people that give it that rap, but most people here are good. They need a positive role model. In. Two Indiana men are trying to make a difference. One's a police officer. One's a motocross rider. They're both helping others one donation at a time. It, was, it still amazes me that we collected that much. That's just, it's awesome. Together, both men collected more than 20 bags of toys, more than 40 bags of clothes, and more than 400 items of food to help families in need. It's a surprise! But this is more than just about dropping off some canned goods and toys. You guys want some presents? Come on. It's about reaching out to mothers and children. This is all about my kids. Them, they smile. They smile, I'm smiling. They happy, I'm happy. There you go, man. Shatar Terrell and her son Michael are having a hard time right now, but thankful for the generosity. That just shows that, you know, there's people out here who actually care. Everybody in the world not bad. It's some good people out here. We're just glad we could come here and help someone. It's a know? small gesture by two that's, friends. That's mainly what I do every day. I try to come out here on these streets. I just try to help someone. That means the world to these families. In Gary, I'm Regina Waldrop. NBC5 News. Great to see those smiles. The men collected all the items at their jobs and through Facebook. They had plenty of them to give out. Jeremy just texted me. I got 175 points and I look over and I'm like... It's entirely possible that in an effort to scale back Christmas, I didn't really scale back anything at all. Uh... Yeah. My mind, 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 my mind,